Hey there crafty friends, it's Amy from thecrazycraftlady.com. I've got a brand new craft for you today that was inspired by the tiniest of things. How cute is that little Christmas ornament? I got these recently at my local Dollar Tree. It's early October, so they're out in stores now. They come in a pack of four. I already took mine apart, but they come in a pack of four like this. I am absolutely obsessed with red pickup trucks at Christmas time um, and decor and crafts. I just think it's so cute. So come craft with me and see how I transformed these little ornaments into a cute little Christmas wreath. Let's get making. For this craft, you're going to need a few supplies from the dollar store and Walmart. I used these red pickup truck ornaments. They come in a four pack. I used five, so you'll have three left over. Also lamb's ear from Walmart. I tend to prefer um, like Walmart or craft store uh, greenery, faux greenery over dollar store with a few exceptions, but for this one I chose this lamb's ear from Walmart. I just cut each sprig in half. I ended up using six half pieces, so a total of three and I had one left over which is fine so I just cut each sprig in half as you can see and then I grabbed my hot glue gun and I applied a generous portion of hot glue to the back of the stem and along some of the leaves as well and then I just kind of tucked the little half sprig into place and I held it in place while the glue um, cooled just a little bit. So like I said, I went around the wreath and I did six half sprigs evenly spaced around my wreath and I hot glued them all in place. So I'm gonna speed that up and show you the next step. I also had a couple of random lamb's ear leaves left over from a previous project and I just used those to cover the base of some of my um, stems that were still kind of showing just to give it a little bit more of a finished up look and since I had them lying around I figured I'd use them here. Next up is my bow. I originally wanted to do a raffia bow, but it just didn't work out. It was too messy and it just didn't look right. So instead I went to my trusty old burlap ribbon, also from the dollar store, to make the first of two bows. You just make a simple figure eight, pinching um, the ribbon in the center where the figure eight meets. You kind of play around with it a little bit until you get the right look. And then all you need to do is tie the center of that figure eight in the middle um, with another piece of ribbon. In this case, I used some red and black buffalo check ribbon that I also got from the dollar store because it was thinner than the, the burlap wreath. And then you just cut the bottom at an angle, the bottom of the bow. And then next I made a second smaller bow to layer on top of my burlap bow. I used that red and black buffalo check ribbon. It's so cute with little white snowflakes on it. Perfect for winter and Christmas crafting. Once again, you just make a little figure eight with your ribbon and then you cut another small piece of ribbon to tie in the center to hold your figure eight in place. This particular ribbon is pretty slippery. It was more of like a satiny type ribbon so it's kind of slick and so it took me a couple of tries to get my knot tied. Just tie a simple double knot in the back of your figure eight and then your ribbon um, is complete and then trim the bottom pieces as well. And now there were two little ribbons that I could layer for the base of my wreath. Next step it was time to add my red pickup truck ornaments. They come in a four pack from Dollar Tree and for this wreath I'm going to use five which means I'll have three left over. I just like the odd number of five and I think they space really well around 
my wreath. So each ornament has a little black metal like wire hanger. What you want to do is detach just one side of the little metal hanger and then you can wrap that wire around your wreath and then reattach it through the hole in the little pickup truck ornament and give it a few twists to secure um, the pickup truck in place. So just repeat the process with the four remaining red pickup trucks. Just undo one side of the wire, straighten it out, wrap it around the back of the wreath, and then re-secure it in place. It's also helpful to think about the angle that your pickup trucks are sitting at. You kind of want to alternate. Um, if one is pointing down, then the next one point up. Just kind of change it up a little bit for a little more visual interest. Now it was time to attach my two bows. I attached the burlap, the larger burlap bow, just with a piece of twine. I double wrapped it and tied a knot in the back. Super, super simple. And then I grabbed my hot glue gun and I hot glued the red ribbon in place right on top of the burlap bow. You want to hold it in place. That right there was me burning my finger on hot glue. And so I had to recover and come back and, and hold everything in place. But that's it. Um, a simple, quick, kind of farmhouse style red pickup truck wreath just in time for the holiday season. Be sure to give this video a like and click subscribe below so you never miss a crafty moment. Until next time, happy making!